If you're going to use Lightroom Classic to edit your photos, there are a few things you should do before you start. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent, and in today's Lightroom Classic post-production tips, we're going to prepare our computers for editing in Lightroom Classic. Now, as I covered in my last video, Lightroom Classic is a catalog-based system. There are two components we need to be aware of. First, the raw images from our cameras, and second, the catalog of preview images Lightroom Classic creates during import. Now, raw images contain a lot of data, so the files from our shoots can start to add up. If we create a lot of images, and I truly hope that you will, your computer's hard drive will fill up pretty fast. So first I recommend organizing our raw images so they're easy to locate, back up, and move if needed. And second, I recommend that you have an external drive ready to save all of our raw images too once our computer's hard drive starts to fill up. Now, if you don't have an external hard drive, it's still okay to start using Lightroom Classic. But as your catalog grows, you'll need to either permanently delete some of your images or buy an external drive. Either way, organizing your images so they're easy to find will really help. I'll add some links to external drives that I've used and trust in the description for this video down below. Now, I would begin using Lightroom Classic by setting up a structured file system for our raw images. Lightroom Classic is great for organizing or cataloging our images, but that's inside of Lightroom. So, as our catalog grows, we'll want an organized system for our raw images as well. Let me show you how I would organize my images. This applies both to first-time users and long-time users of Lightroom Classic. First, let's open up the software. Now, when we start Lightroom Classic for the first time, the software will create a new folder within the Pictures folder on our computers, as you see here. This folder will be a, where a .lrcat, or our Lightroom catalog file, will be saved. Here it is. This is where the image previews exist. Now let's click back into Lightroom. We're in the library module, as you see here up in the top right of the screen. Move to the bottom left of the screen and select the import button here. The import dialog box will now open. Now, one of the best things about Lightroom Classic is the thoughtful structure of the user interface. At times, it's, it's very intuitive. For example, in this import dialog box, just move from left to right. First, we select the source here. Then we move to the left to select the import settings. And finally, the last panel is the import destination. Now, regarding this first source panel, this is where the images will be coming from our camera, memory card, or files already copied to our computers. So first, select the source of our images. Now, I'll be selecting my external drive here. Now, next to the right, we have these four importing options. Now, I'll be going further in depth in these in my next video. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you don't miss it and you can follow along. Lastly, we have the destination panel here on the right. Now this panel is going to look a bit different depending on the import actions we have selected at the top of the page here. For this demonstration, I'll have the copy option selected here. Now this right hand panel provides us the opportunity to select where we would like our raw images to be saved. Now remember, our raw images are the second component of Lightroom I mentioned in my previous video. For the remainder of this video, let's pop down to the destination dropdown here. This dropdown mirrors the destination selected at the top of the left panel, but it also has some important options to help us organize our files. Now I have a few recommendations from past experience on how to best organize our raw files. I'd recommend creating a specific location and a hierarchical folder structure. Um, this will help us keep track of our images. And remember, I hope you'll be shooting loads of images. So to begin, let's create a folder where all our images can exist. Let's create a folder called raw images in the pictures location under my profile on my computer. Select this plus icon or right click on the pictures here. Then select create new folder. Type in the name of the folder. I'm going to be using raw images. 
select choose or OK. Now we have a new folder for our imported raw images. Now Lightroom Classic has this amazing option to create subfolders for the date that the imported images were captured. Here under Organize, I would recommend selecting By Date. Since I have a number of images from a few years ago on this drive, you're able to see three years of folder structure previewed here. Now choose the date format. I prefer a numerical format. I also like having my images organized into folders for the year, month, and day in which they were shot. Now that's it. We're now starting to use Lightroom Classic with a well-organized folder structure for our raw images. This will help us if we need to back up our images or move them to a new computer. Now that's it for now. Be sure to join me in my next video where we talk about the other importing options in Lightroom Classic and we actually import. If you have any questions from this video, be sure to post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.